Welcome back, viewer. Drone Tech here. So yesterday, Piers Morgan had on Bill Maher for a debate. And it's just a reminder that although Bill Maher has apparently seen the light on some things, on others, he's still an NPC simp who seems to be regurgitating what Nicole Wallace said on the TV. It's an hour-long interview, which I'll leave a link to in the description. But stick around, and I'm going to show you a few of the choice moments that really grind my gears. I have a, a, an ongoing theory that the world has gone nuts, but what I can't work out <laughs> is whether it's just because we're aware of more stuff which is nuts than we ever used to be, or do you actually feel oh, yeah. that it is going nuts? Yes, absolutely, <laughs> it is going nuts. I mean, we sort of touched it on in the show tonight when I was talking about norms and the attitude, I think, of the uh, conservative people in this country about what's, what disturbs them on the left I would think it's, I would say it's the fringe of the left, but you know, the problem with the left is that the people in the center who don't even believe what the fringe are believing don't stand up to them. Mm -hmm. They don't shout them down publicly, so it just becomes, it's very bad for Democrats, which I don't think is a good thing. I mostly vote for Democrats. I can't remember the last time I voted for a Republican. Well, there goes red pill Bill Maher. He's trying so hard to carry water for Democrats here. If people in the so-called center aren't speaking out about Democrats busting norms, it could be because they agree with it. Norms that Trump trounced on, that's a very valid point, one I've made a million times and we all saw it in plain sight. I mean, norms of the law and democracy and answering subpoenas and <laughs> respecting elections and not trying to have a coup in America. I mean, it went past norms. Except these are all norms that were already busted by Democrats. First, he says something about norms of the law, which I'm not even sure what he means by that. But they've been accusing Trump of crimes from the very start. Talk of his impeachment started before he even took office. Is Maher not aware of laws that were broken by Democrats or the fact that the Clintons have been seen as a crime family going back to the 90s? Maher even supported Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election, calling her an imperfect friend. And even though they always claim that Hillary Clinton conceded, she spent the next four years claiming that Trump and the election were illegitimate. Going even further and saying that Republicans already had a plan to steal the next 2024 election. Like I said, Hillary is widely seen to be corrupt and got away with crimes that would have gotten any of us regular people locked up. Maher even admitted in 2019 that she committed obstruction of justice, but of course it's different when Trump supposedly does it. How about not answering subpoenas, which Bill Maher accuses Trump of busting norms on. Yeah, that norm was busted by Democrats, who supported the Obama administration Attorney General Eric Holder and ignoring congressional subpoenas to testify. Democrats then walked out of a vote to hold him in contempt. The very same Eric Holder who said on the Bill Maher show after losing the 2016 election that we should abolish the electoral college. How do we fix that? Well, I'm in the process now writing an article that says we, there's a simple solution to it. We have to just abolish the electoral college. Yeah. It's not... It's, but they're not going to go along with that. And well, does, isn't that, isn't that a constitutional amendment? Requires a constitu well, constitutional amendment. that is some heavy lifting. But all right, so it, so it involves heavy lifting. Right. Let's lift heavy. Let's lift heavy. Let's do it. You're right. You yeah. know? Now, we gotta do it. Yeah. What are you talking about? Don't you have any sense? Don't you have a brain? Are you so completely senile you don't even know what you're talking about anymore? So much for democracy, I guess. And lastly, denying election results, as I've talked about many, many times, is something that Democrats have done since the year 2000. They did it again in 2004 and escalated up until Trump won in 2016, which the Democrats, the FBI, and the media tried to overturn, something that many of us would call a coup attempt through a variety of methods that included a massive propaganda effort to deny the legitimacy of the 2016 election by claiming Russia stole it. Then Trump finally became the first Republican to deny election results in 2020. But sure, Mar, go on. I have to ask about Biden because I've heard you defend him about his record in the, the, yeah. the term. I think it's been actually better than people think, which is why he did better in the midterms than people expected. But he's mm. really showing his age. It's two more years before an election. If he then does four more, he'd be 86. What? You know, does I, that matter? It doesn't matter to me. I feel like this is a prejudice that this country has, this ageism. Of course! To be president, you're the elder. Every civilization seems to have understood this. The elder, 
We go to you for advice and wisdom. Mm -hmm. Joe Biden is barely sentient. He's not giving anybody any wisdom. When he's not creepily and incoherently whispering into a mic or inappropriately touching children, he's waving to people who aren't even there. But of course, it was totally different when Bill Maher said that Trump should be removed from office using the 25th Amendment. So democracy-ish. I just think people have, look, do I love everything Biden has done? No, I don't. I think he caves into that super left side a little too much. I think they go to him with that stuff and he goes, I don't understand it. I can't be bothered with it. I have real <laughs> matters to do. If you want to do this, fine. I'm not going to fight you on it. You just got done complaining about Democrats in the center who don't speak out and push back about the extremism coming from the left. And now you're saying that Joe Biden is an amazing leader because he just goes along with the extreme left? Oh, that was different. And, you know, is it as uh, existentially threatening as what Trump is threatening? Of course not. Mm -hmm. So, but generally he's doing fine. Mm -hmm. Is he perfect? Of course not. But he's getting the job done and we're back to normal. It's not insanity. What are you talking about? <laughs> we're losing our allies in NATO to China and we're on the brink of World War III. All things that you said Trump would do. All right, folks, my head is starting to hurt, so I'm gonna stop it here. But like I said, I will leave a link to the full debate in the description. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Also, make sure to let me know what you think about the new background. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one.